I hate crowds. Too many people in one place is never a fun experience for me, especially if there is a lack of deodorant. But aside from my own personal discomfort, the world is becoming extremely, extremely crowded and it's not looking good for us. But it is solvable. Hey fellow geeks, Mark Crater here with another episode of the Science Faction Show. Be sure to ask your science questions in the comments down below. Today, we are looking at how we can solve the population problem of the Earth. Let's get right to the facts. As of right now, there are around 7.5 billion people on Earth. The United Nations estimates that if we continue creating more people the way we do, we are bound to wind up with a world population of 11 billion by 2100. The Earth's carrying capacity is estimated to be around 14 billion, so 11 billion isn't all too far off. The carrying capacity is determined by factors such as food availability and space. Once our numbers exceed the carrying capacity, it is likely humans will begin to die from famine. Doesn't sound great, so how can we make sure this doesn't happen? Well, some places such as China have already tried. The one child policy, as good as it was on paper, led to a whole host of problems such as children being abandoned or filing adoption agencies. And the policy was phased out starting in 2015. So obviously, restricting the number of births by force isn't going to work. Don't have sex because you will get pregnant and die. And no, mass diseases aren't going to be the solution either. That would be dangerous and unethical. Jeez, guys, have some morals. One way to reduce overpopulation is to start with education and family planning. A lot of people don't even know this is happening. When people are more aware of how pregnancies happen, they can prevent unwanted and accidental pregnancies, therefore reducing the number of people coming into the world. Free condoms for everyone! That ain't no etch sketch This is one doodle that can't be undid, Holmes Gillett. However, because we seem to be headed into the overpopulated direction anyway, scientists are now hard at work creating lab meat. That's meat made from stem cells that requires no farming or butchering to bring you a burger. A physiologist named Mark Post revealed in 2014 the first ever burger patty made from individual stem cells. And while the meat wasn't very tasty, it also carried a price tag of $300,000. Not very practical or worth it. but. A tastier version may be on the way in the near future, so here's open. Alright, that's it for me here at the Science Fashion Show. Be sure to let me know what you want me to talk about next in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching guys, be sure to like, subscribe and share with your friends and check out the other awesome videos we have on this channel, there's two right down there. And as always, stay geeky. Science!